to talk Nintendo Online Service again, doing some more uh, NES online shit. Uh, John has challenged me to ice hockey, so I'm going to see if I can compete in any way. Probably can't. This is one of my favorite NES games. Love this game. And I'm going to watch him play. I'm watching the Twitch stream right now. Oh, so so we'll have like one watcher on there. There you go. All right. But who so, watches the watchers? Uh, Stanley. Um, <laughs> so, all right. So I'm going to go to play online, connect to the internet. Da, da, da. There's PETA. See, PETA, I played with him for a while. NBC I wonder, PETA. can you switch? Could you pass the controller in a two player game so that a yes. third person could swap in? I think you can. Oh, I think you can do it whenever. I think you can just do it whenever. All right. Well, so. there can only be two people connected. I don't think you can have three. Oh, okay. There can only be one. Oh, uh, yeah. So I'm waiting, hanging out. Uh, you know. So, uh, I guess I'm, I'm searching. Good. Oh, there you are. You found me. I was, was, was say I could play something while I'm waiting, but I don't, I don't think it's because you'll be on quickly. Yeah, there you are. So, yeah. The connection strength, blah, blah, blah. Uh, that should be set the way it already is, though. Let's check it right All now. Right, and now I see you oh, no, that's on my end. Perfect. So, yeah, if you move the R, see, see how I'm moving the R stick out here? I see it. Oh, man. You can applaud. Yep. That's what you do. That's this is weird because my video stream is like probably, eh, I'd say, eight to ten seconds behind the Skype, so. It's kind of funny. Latency mode. Hearing you guys talk about okay. stuff way before it happens. Oh, really? Yeah. So, okay, now, uh, so I I have low latency mode on now. I guess you have to turn it on every time you restart the thing. So, here is Isaki. Seems pretty robust for an early NES offering. Who, well, well... I mean, Canada, it's a few Canada. years into the console. Canada's got to be the best. Oh yeah, there's like a time and speed and all that. What 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 do you normally do your settings on here? Normally, I do um, speed. I do we can do one, but then for time, seven minutes. Okay. All right. So it's how it default. is? So default. All right. Is so that's it... actually seven minutes per per period. Oh, what what is this? What oh, is this weird. The about? music is fucking up. Do you hear that? That was really weird. The music kind of like wobbled or warped out for a minute. It's pretty I, I, cool that you can um, what do you I can actually like pick your team, like your team yeah. individual team members. So my strategy is two fat guys, a medium guy, and a skinny guy. Fat guys are the best. Okay. They will. Uh, they can basically bowl the other players over. But they're the slowest, probably. They're the slowest. Yeah. But you they're can, like the tanks of this game. They're the tanks, yeah. But they're the best for shooting, because you can actually wind up your shot, and then the other players can try to knock you over, but they won't be able to, because you're too fat. Oh, I, I see. <laughs> oh, I see what you mean, because you can sort of charge your shot up a little bit. Right. To, like, okay, so you, have, so you have four players, basically, right? That's what you're doing you here? Do. Okay. Right. Cool. Here we go. I always choose Poland. Because I am Polish. Ever since I was a kid, I was always the Polish team. Oh, Ever well. since I was a kid, I was Polish. That's true. I picked uh, Canada because I thought they might be better at, at uh, hockey than most teams. Because I know it's I know they're big there. You know who else is Polish? Who? Oh, Polish. Who? Me. You're yeah. Polish. Well, I've got a very. My, I mean, I've got a Polish last name. My grandpa was first generation Polish American. He was born here, but both his parents were Polish immigrants. By the way, I don't know how to play this game. So, so A, A is to pass. pass, B is to shoot. Okay. You have control over the goalie. Yep. Saw that. And then you're very good at scoring because uh, you've done it twice and I've done none. That's what I've yeah, noticed. Maybe. It's got nothing on... Uh, uh, what do you call it? He's doing what he said he would do. He's scoring with his fat guys. Those skinny guys are quick, though. Yeah, but they probably 
get knocked over quicker too. I got a message that says my connection is unstable. Yeah? It, it hasn't... I haven't gotten anything over here. Oh, I blocked one. And another one. And another hey, one. This is, a, this is a very charming game as far as it the is, appearance. It is really charming. And then, what do you see, what do you see the halftime show? It's one of the best things ever to happen <laughs> in any of this game. I don't know if we can top the Tech Mobile halftime show. <laughs> yeah. With the girls. My heart skipped a beat. With the, with the girls and the, and the band? That total babes. That kind of the uh, the puck kind of looks like a Boston cream donut. Yeah, that's why the fat guys like it so much. Getting hungry, are you? Maybe. Maybe I just associate donuts with hockey. You can get into fights in this game, by the way. Can you? You can. Can you make your characters like we do that long enough? There'll be a. Big, Which came uh, first, Bruce this or Blades of Steel? Pretty sure that was this. I hear you can get scores in this too. Get what? I you can, you can score, score in this game. I heard you can That's score true. goals too. I mean, I, I've seen you do it, but I, I don't think that my team can. Oops. If you hold on to it long enough, the goalie just shoots it out. Getting too bad you can't freeze the puck. That was always a funny thing I did on uh, Stanley Cup. Oh, there's icing, though. There's icing. I thought icing is good. Is that a penalty? We're going back to donuts. What is icing? Is that when you go into the goalie's box? That's when... Um... Yes! There you go. <laughs> Got a goal, finally. I was trying to explain icing. That's, that's how I got it. So what, it, so what is icing again? Let me get another goal. <laughs> <laughs> icing is when one side shoots the puck all the way across the ice uh, past the, I think it's the blue line. But basically it is, it's just meant to discourage you from, from shooting the puck all the way down the ice, you know, as hard as you can. Right. So it's like in ping pong, you're not supposed to just like... Or no, in ah. foosball, you're not supposed to just, like, spin the guys all the time and hit it as hard as you can. Right, right. That's how my brain expl understands it as a non-athletic person. You play foosball? Yeah, I play foosball, but I don't play real sports. I like me some foosball and ping pong. Those are my favorite. I hate ping pong. I love ping pong so much. I suck at it. I'm not great at it, but it's fun. I agree. It's fun. I suck at it. It's, thus, it's not fun. I'm slightly above bad. So I can beat people that don't ever play, but someone who's played a little bit more than never can beat me, usually. Hmm. So this is the slowest speed, but if we put it on five, this game gets really fast. Yeah. Which is awesome. It's pretty it's pretty fast right now, I think. Compared to the soccer and the baseball games, <laughs> yeah, it's a, yeah. it is refreshing that it's moving is, at like a, an actual pace. Compared to sludge. Yeah. I thought, I mean, Tecmo Bowl moves at a pretty good pace for what it is. Yeah, we forgot to talk about how I pulled the Devin Hester on you earlier. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't paying What's attention. What's a Devin Hester? Dev I was trying to explain you icing. You don't remember Devin Hester? No. Devin Hester was like a was a he would he was like super legendary uh, Bears player. He's the guy what, that what he, play? he was he played for the Bears. Oh, the Bears! Oh, I don't know. Bears. Uh, he uh, he would be the he he'd like what you know they do the kick to the other team, and he would catch the ball and run all the way, run all the way to a touchdown with it. He was fast as fuck. Anyway, Whatever happened to that guy? He day traded him. He's on a different team now, I think. I don't know. So he's not like a, a vintage player. He's a recent player. Uh, I mean, Devin Hester was like... That had to have been like early 2000s. When he was big. Oh yeah, he's probably retired by now. Football players retire in their 30s usually. Yeah, he's fast. As if they though. like stick around that long.
I can see this game actually being played competitively these days. Yeah. I mean, as like a sort of a novelty, old school throwback game. Yeah. What if they did bring the circuit? an eSport? They like should have. NES Classic thing. Yeah, they should have brought it into uh, the Nintendo World Championship. Hey, we got a viewer. We got an extra viewer. Hello, viewer. It's hard, Hi, viewer. It's hard to tell because it says that we have like seven viewers on here, but it also says four, so. Thanks for viewing us. Nah. It, it's, it may sound like it's two versus one, but it's really just one on one in the third person. And so a guy is just watching. That's what hap happening here, yeah. <laughs> one person just watching and commentating. I'm just watching Poland kill Canada. Yeah. That's what's happening here, because Canada, Canada got... I'm surprised I got that one score, really. Is this the halftime show? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Zamboni. There it is. Here <laughs> comes that pocket full of pepperoni. Oh, that's a stromboli. This is these, these Zambonis. Clean it. This isn't really halftime, though, right? Because there's three periods in hockey. Or yeah, it's four. not really halftime. Yep. Yeah. It's two thirds time. It's. We don't want to be here all night. We're going to start our closing work now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it kind of sucks that you always control the goalie. Because I miss it. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. I think I should have just made them all die. Just did the same thing again. I wonder who's going to win this game. <laughs> I mean, 10 to 1. This is, this is close. It's a real close one. It's a real close one here. I do have what are you, what are you like doing? 35 years advantage playing this game. Damn, this game's old. I played it, uh, you know, I played it once. Pass the ball, you idiot. <laughs> it's a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fuck. <laughs> that is not a ball. I don't care. <laughs> to me, it's a ball. Although, to be fair, in the pinball game on the uh, 3DS, the pinball was a puck. Uh, what the? Well, the pinball was a puck in the uh, Virtual Boy. Collect yeah. pinball. Yep, that's what I said. I thought you said Game Boy Advance. Maybe I did, but I meant Virtual Boy. Leave me alone. She get in a fight. I don't know how to. Okay. Yes! Two to ten. Man, you're going down so quickly. Now that we're eight points apart, it's over. So you get to get in a fight, you just gotta come at me. Come at me with a medium guy. Uh, I don't know how to switch guys. And then we gotta keep uh, hitting the buttons. Right now you gotta come at me with a fat guy. We'll get in a fight. Is that it? There we go. <laughs> That's a fight. Everybody's fighting. <laughs> and that guy's dancing. See who gets pulled. <laughs> oh, I got pulled. He, 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 the, the ref was oh, like... Oh, that's awesome. I'm just not seeing the fight. Yeah, the, the ref was like dancing. It was like disco dancing. It was crazy. And then he went into the ice. And, and then... Uh, <laughs> he just some, disappeared. <laughs> he became one with the ice. Kind of like Linda. Like Linda did. And the... Double Dragon. <laughs> I guess we did. It's so. Just like it's so weird having. <laughs> it's so weird having latency on an NES game. Ah. Well. Are you feeling the latency still? Internet. I mean, you're I used to like not... the direct analog input. Yeah. Right. To the system, so. Three to ten. There's no way you're not going to notice a difference. Unless it's just that good. Three to ten is better than I thought it would be. Yeah. Oh fuck. Uh, 
I this... like how the whole audience is like people sitting at tables for two. Those seconds are fucking <laughs> fast. They're fast. Yeah, I used to call this Nintendo time. It's real, yeah, it's very fast. Yeah, Mario was like that, and then the time in Double Dragon is like half time or third Ah, time. I almost got another one there. But nothing was ever accurate. Nope. Ah, what was that, 20 to 3? 12. That's when I, when I said that I might win. He had to just rub it in. And you're, miss, and, you, and, you're your score and you're missing a series. player too. What? Oh right, one of the people in the penalty box. Alright, so that was ice hockey on NES. What'd you think? Uh yeah. That's it. As an observer, I only wish... Oh, yeah, do that. Does that make the time move faster, too? I think it does, but let's try Let's try it on five. Let's go for the seven-minute periods and try it on five speed. Because it gets intense. Okay. Can I r rotate out? Well, I guess I'm doing the stream, so... Just stay in. Um, you want to play it up here? In five? Yes. Let's try. It'll go super fast. I'm gonna. I'm making it. It's good. We're gonna be team fat here. Is what we're gonna do. The icebreakers. It was kind of cool. One of the uh, skits that Pete and Pete showed last night, or, you know, Michael and Danny, was uh, one of the Kids' Choice Awards where they gave an award to Nancy Kerrigan as the favorite uh, female athlete or whatever. And then that, he, uh, Big Pete hits Little Pete with a hockey stick and, like, rolls him across the ice really quick. Yeah, yeah, first goal. And uh, Danny, the guy that played Little Pete, was like, yeah, I remember I actually messed that up several times because that was so much fun that I would mess it up on purpose so they'd have to reshoot it. Because they just slid him all the way across the ice on his knee pads. Mm. Oh, I remember that episode, yeah. Fuck. Well, it was like uh, Kids Choice Awards. It wasn't like a, one of the episodes. They were on the, like... This oh, like right. other segment on Nickelodeon. Yeah, they. It was interesting all the stuff they played because um, basically they had a the guy who produces their podcast does all the media for the presentation. So you know they're both on the mic and then there's like a screen. Mm. Oh, they've got a podcast. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called the Adventures of uh, Danny Mike and, and Mike. Mike and Danny. Yeah. Danny and Mike. Mm. But uh, their podcast producer guy was a. Uh, uh, doing like you know video so they would basically like play a scene and then talk about it but and, uh, so like this this choice awards like had like takes it wasn't filmed live no 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 this is like I'm just like explaining it like out of order okay. the kids choice award part was just like towards the end they were like let's play some interesting clips of them that, not from the show and talk about that experience, you know, like they played a clip of uh Mike met uh Bill Clinton and showed him how to use the internet for this like promotion they did back in the day. Wow. Pete meeting Bill Clinton showing him how to use the internet is a very nineties thing. Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah. And it was pretty like, sure he knew how to use of, it. Uh, like E Trade or I don't know, it was some like sort of like um thing that was popular at the time. It was like a commercial they were parodying. He's like, well, Bill, so. here's here's where porn is. <laughs> right, he and said, Bill's he actually like, well, said well, that. He was our, like, uh, he was like, like there were a bunch of outtakes was. we didn't use where I was like showing him these other sites. Because the main thing he was showing him was eBay. Like, Bill Clinton was getting super excited about eBay. But Al Gore was nowhere around talking about how he invented it all. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, and then like... Uh, they, were just, they showed like a clip of yes. uh, um, 
Danny Tamborelli did the uh, was in a commercial for the Last Action Hero, like um, action figures. Mm. And that was pretty funny. And then they showed like a clip from the like the mid '80s of uh, I think it was Robotron. It was a kid show at the time. I remember Robotron. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was it was like a bunch of kids being super excited about Robotron and based on like the, the video game. It was like, or maybe it, I can't remember exactly. It was, an what it, was an, it was an anime, right? It was an anime was a, that was a kids show at the time yeah. back in the eighties. Yeah, Robotron. Hmm. Oh, yeah. oh, Robotron. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And they're all oh, getting, Robo- like super Robotech. excited. Robotech. That's what it was. Yeah. And all the kids are getting super excited. And they're going <laughs> like making explosion sounds and stuff. And it's super cute because he was like four years old at the time. But that's kind of what it was, the whole thing. And then they had like two like script readings. And I actually went on stage and read this uh, a, part of a script with with those two guys. So mm-hmm. it was kind of cool. That's cool. I was like, I was talking to them after the show, and they're like, "Yeah, you can say you collaborated with us." I'm like, "I have to, I have to make an IMDb page." Nice. I read I read a scene from the final uh, the final episode of Pete and Pete with uh, two actors. That's true. The two titular actors. Yes. That's uh, we tied it. I'm getting better at this. But uh, I learned that Danny's in a band called Jounce, like Bounce, Jounce. with a J. So I was listening to that, and it's it's, it's kind of cool. It's very indie rock, very yeah. like I don't know. Might check it out. He plays bass. Cool. I was, and, uh, they, and they have a podcast. Like it was just funny because it like was reminding me of myself. Except I wasn't a child actor. He was the son in Grand Theft Auto V. Mm-hmm. Yep, and he was a. Uh, he's doing a lot of stuff. He was in uh, Mighty Ducks, and uh, which is pretty big. Which was a lot of like the ho- There was a lot of hockey talk. But I think it's really cool. Those guys are still friends. Like they both live in Brooklyn, or like in that in that region of New York, and. Mm-hmm. They record all their episodes live with each other. And... Oh, fuck. That's pretty cool. You don't hear about that too often with, like, people that are forced to work together that way. Sure. For TV. So how did you hear about this uh, event? It was on Facebook, but uh, the guy who runs... Well, it's actually his place. It was. In He's Bo- a guy... He was in a first grade crush and yeah, yeah, and stuff. But so name? he's got like his own venue slash restaurant in Bloomington, and I went there and saw a band a couple months ago called Weed Eater, which is like a stoner metal band, which I really enjoy. But uh, he's also he was also in a band called Winder, and that we played a, a show with one time. So I played a show with him technically. Um, Fuck. But yeah, I would just it was at his venue, so I'm friends with him on Facebook and I think I follow their restaurant slash venue on Facebook too, so I saw it and I was like, wait, what? That's crazy. I ended up buying the tickets online because I thought it might sell out. Hmm. I don't know why I thought that, but well, I got a lot of fans. Those right. Those I was like, I'm gonna buy my ticket online. It was like ten bucks. So the day came and I was like, I don't know if I'm gonna if I wanna go. I don't know if I feel like driving to Bloomington by myself for just to hang out for a while, but it was it was a lot of fun. I'm glad I did. Oh, you didn't? Yeah. Nobody went with you? No, I just went by. I just drove to Bl- Bloomington mm. by myself for probably the first time in ten years. I've been there a few times since then, but I've never just driven there by myself since probably since I lived in Lincoln. Yeah. It's a straight shot down seventy four. Yes. I'm glad you went. I, I would have been upset. It was a good if time. Somebody who had an opportunity there were to a, do that. There were a lot of people yeah. there. I mean, the the place was full, and I actually ended up um, doing an interview for a podcast that had uh, interviewed the two of them. So mm-hmm. he interviewed okay. the two of them for a while, and then, uh, and then they interviewed he, he interviewed me <laughs> since I like went on stage with them and just asked me some questions about that. And I was like, "Can you make sure to mention uh, Nintendo Main in the credits?" He said he would. So. You didn't say it in the episode? 
I didn't. We were like, did you know, I don't know. We were being very topical, and he was kind of leading the conversation. Sure. You didn't, you didn't get to do plugs. He was also, coincidentally, he's the guy that, um, he was like the main guy that spoke at Hobie's funeral, like, on behalf of all of his friends. Oh, okay. There's him and one other guy that spoke, so. It was my first chance to talk to him since the service, because I didn't, like, we kind of just went quickly and left, like, as soon as it was, it was over. So, he and I ended up talking about that a lot, which wasn't part of the podcast. Sure. We just kind of talked about our friend and stuff and about music and podcasts and all that stuff uh, I was telling him about Libsyn and he uses some other thing but he doesn't but he, he only uses so SoundCloud copy. right now I was like you gotta go through like somebody that'll do it, host it blah 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 so we were talking about that kind of stuff too damn it I'm doing a lot better this time though I mean, I get it. You can see why I enjoy this game. It's a pretty simple game, yeah. Simple yet complex. I don't know. The guy who runs that club did ask, like, while I was sitting there at the bar, he was like, does your band want to play here? In November, so I think we're going to play a show there sometime in November, which is kind of cool. It's a pretty cool club. And I think it'll it'll be our first time playing in Bloomington. Yeah. We played in Springfield yes. and Champaign. That's it. Or Urbana, too, I guess. Technically. Mm. Oh, shit. Uh-huh. Yeah, this one's a lot closer. Eight to nine, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. When we were playing Tecmo Bowl earlier, I, I got a. There's a point where I, where I got an interception, and I didn't even know that I had an interception. And uh, Jeremy scored on me because of that. <laughs> <laughs> he tackled me in the in the in the uh, whatever. Yeah. I had to. We are tied now. We are tied. I really wanted to win that one because I felt like you were going to beat me in most games we played, and I had to get that one. Yeah, you beat me by one point, so if you wouldn't have gotten that... It was very close. If you wouldn't have got that end zone thing. Fuck. No, I did, we did tie in Dr. Mario, which was nice. Yeah, because we stopped after two, which is fine. Fine with that. And I guess I did slightly better in Mario 3. You did much better in Mario 3, because I hate Mario 3. I mean, I don't hate Mario 3, but I hate Mario 3. I do wish 2 is on there. I don't know why it's not. It's weird that it isn't. Might as well have all three, right? Yeah, but I'm surprised that it's not on there. And why does... I don't know. I don't know why Nintendo feels the need to put Ice Climbers on everything. I didn't even know it was a thing until Melee. Yeah, neither. Well, like I, nobody did. I mean, I didn't know the balloon fight that uh, balloon fight was a thing until Animal Crossing. But b- balloon fight's actually good. It's pretty good. Man, I like how quick this is for an NES game. Like, especially like a legacy NES sports title. This moves nice and quick. Well, you beat me. Exactly. That's a good game. Do you want to try uh, Doctor Mario? Sure. I mean, you'll probably kill me on that one, but. Let's see. Let's see how good you are. Alright. Alright, so what level do you play on? We're not gonna play I that. usually start on 20. Really? <laughs> I do. Seriously? Yeah, yeah, he plays serious. You can. Wow, I'm gonna die so quickly here. <laughs> That's the top. We can go to medium speed. Okay. All right. Watch. Watch how quickly I die here. Ready? Right, Death. Oh my God. Why? 
Why? Why do you play like this? Because it's fun. It's not. Oh, I died. Damn it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> There's 84, there's 80, 84 Vyri in here. Killed one. Killed two. Shit, shit. This, you can't, you can't play like this. Nobody, nobody can play like this. This is way too fast for me to even follow with the lag. Seriously, nobody can play like this. Like, <laughs> like no way. I'm not, I'm, yeah. You don't, you don't play like this. Alright, <laughs> I'm not playing like that again. You don't play. How about like four? <laughs> How sure. about that? Okay. Alright, yeah. It's a little more manageable. No! Don't put that there. Damn it, I already screwed it up. Damn it. It feels, it it feels to be move it feels like it's moving faster than it normally does. One thing about this game, it's like it's kind of like real life, where you just like you flub a little bit. You're like, it'll be fine. I'll take care of it later. And then you like have to later <laughs> on, and it's a bunch of random colors stacked on top of each other. Yep, that's very Damn true. It. I wasn't expecting to actually have to deal with all these stacked tiles. Yeah, and you can really you can really screw yourself over <laughs> if you just if you just don't if you're just like, oh, I'll worry about it later. And uh, yeah. Some of them you just don't know where to fucking put them. Yeah, see, I, I screwed myself there. Mm -hmm. Nah, I'm done for. You only had one less virus than I do. That's true. So, whatever that means. No! Would you consider NES Virtual Console? Do you think it started with Animal Crossing and not with um, the Wii? I, mean, I would say so. That was the first time they re-released it. it. And then, and then all... wasn't there um, the wasn't the um, e cards thing? Was that before the Wii or was that after the Wii? Oh, I don't know. But that, those were like ice climbers and shit like that, wasn't it? They were all the really small, like, old games that could be fit onto these swipeable cards. Yeah, I'm a Four to fifteen, damn. You were having a good game on that one. I was. But even if you consider the Wii the original Virtual Console, that was 12 years ago. Long time ago. So 12 years before that was 1994. That was the year that Super Metroid came out. Just to put that in perspective of... Mm. This is the Virtual Console we get 12 years after. Virtual Console. I don't know. It's, it's interesting how it's different. It's fundamentally different in a way that back then they would have said we can't do that we can't add online features to old these game. old games so I think that's like a marked difference between the two but 
otherwise it's kind of like if i go go back in time and ask myself the question what do you think virtual console will be like in the year 2018 i'd be like uh it'll just be like this button you press and everything will be on there yeah right that's that's what that's what you would think but no nope it's 20 games a year and a half after the release of this console and they're definitely not all bangers but this updated functionality is pretty impressive at the same time I do think Nintendo should add a, a spectator mode and a, yeah, the option to have a third or fourth player do the controller swap. Yeah, right. It'd be really cool, be cool if I was watching you guys real time right now. Like, like Twitch is fine, but you know, it'd be cooler if it was real time through the app. Right. Yeah, yeah. No, it really should be. Let's play again. Uh, yeah, no, there really should be a spectator app. And you should be able to have more than just two people in here. I agree. What you just said. Pretty much. I just repeated what you said. Also, I really think this would look a lot better if it was like polygonal and kind of cell shaded a little bit because <laughs> I mean you're going to add the extra online features you might as well upgrade the graphics I think it would look great if it was like a different game <laughs> <laughs> just completely change it it would be great if there were like guns and you know you could like you were like behind the gun like I did like any like of the any of the ran. chances you got to fight these viruses as a uh, bad guys in the Mario RPG games. It was pretty cool. Oh, did you do that? I don't know. Yeah, I don't think they were in the first Mario RPG, but they were in um, some of the Superstar Saga. Uh huh. might actually like officially beat me on this because no, like, you can yeah. actually clear the board yeah well he only has two viruses left and I have like 11 so you know so basically I'm doing great well I'm looking at the past right now and that's right he's I mean he's still ahead <laughs> though <laughs> crap yeah see he just beat me by getting all the virus Man, when I needed a red earlier, there was no red on it, red in sight. <laughs> I know. Yeah, that was rough. It had to have been like at least twenty blocks straight of nothing red. I, I can't wait to till we can play a uh, duck hunt on here, and uh, <laughs> and you have to use the the really bad aiming of the of the uh, Joy Cons. It's gonna be a lot of fun. kind of like how like everything within this um game is very medically themed like you know it's pills it's viruses you're inside of giant pill bottles and you win crowns like <laughs> what else like, like, what, like teeth like why isn't it like you know like uh where the, where the hell are those things that surgeons wear that have the light on them 
headlamps, whatever. Why isn't it like those, or why isn't it like some face masks or something? That's true. I never thought. Maybe of that. a maybe a triple pair of uh, uh, like a uh, latex scalpel. gloves. <laughs> Your grand prize: latex gloves. Keep it hygienic. We don't need all that twinkling jewelry in the operating room. <laughs> You remember this was a you could unlock this whole game on uh, WarioWare one. Remember that? You could. Yeah, you could unlock all of uh, Doctor Mario in there. It was so weird. Just like oh yeah, oh, yeah here's the, here's the whole game. It was called Doctor Wario, right? Yeah. It was it was Doctor Wario, but it was still in this game. I mean, that's... dang, nice chain there. Probably like ten minutes ago, John. <laughs> I mean, that's <laughs> that's kind of like the beginning of. Uh, I mean that's that's the begin that's also kind of the beginning of uh, Virtual Console, putting the whole Doctor Mario game on WarioWare. That one was like what two thousand one, two thousand two. WarioWare? I think that was two thousand three. I think it was. was yeah, it? I would I would guess three. It was. I, you know, I do remember it being kind of like a few years into the life of the system. It was later. I remember I convinced you to get it because it had Nintendo games on it. Wasn't there a demo you could do through the... Uh... GameCube, yeah, there was. Yeah, through the GameCube. That's when I first played it. Yeah, you did it... Um... Yeah, you would. You could play it like through with the... Uh... Link with, cable. It would link with the, uh, yeah, with the Game Boy Advance cable. Oh, this one's actually going to kill some virus for me. Boom! I killed two of them. That below attack you kept like talking about earlier, Trey. John uses that a lot. The what? Excuse me. The attack where you come up from below and like oh, up yeah. towards the thing. Yeah, that's I'd, a big trick. I'm I'd, not trying to sell you out, John, but Trey kept talking about it earlier when we were playing. Yeah, I mean, if that's you're what you gotta do. Yeah, if, if you're good, you can do that. I mean, I'm good. I'm good. Like sometimes, good enough to do the blow the blow attack. I don't know. I, th I think the chill music is better than this. Just, I'm just gonna I like say all this music. I'm just gonna say that right now. I also can't hear the music right now because of how I'm listening. You're, you're probably happy about that. Oh, I'm fine. Damn it. That's that's actually kind of why I've been feeling like more obligated to speak because I'm like it's so quiet. All right, you guys hear music. I'll do I one know. more. I'll do one more with chill because chill is is the good music. I'll be right back. I need to go take a chillaxative. And, and I already, I already fucked it up. Son of a bitch! You're already nailing combos on here. Unfair. Sorry. Unfair. Damn it! I, I'm just screwing myself over left and right. I might as well just like, just you know. Commit Dr. Mario Moose suicide here. <laughs> Just take all the pills. All of them! <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, I've always like enjoyed organizing things, and this game absolutely speaks to that. You like organizing things? Just I'm like not... organizing things. Yeah, like, no, I always kind of enjoyed cleaning my room in a way, like, putting it together and, you know, finding uh, similar items and grouping them together. And that's what this game is, like, all about. Mm -hmm. I feel the same sort of uh, neurons in my brain firing when I play this game. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not, not, not very good at that, so that's why I still got it.
No! <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> yeah, see, I'm, I'm the opposite of organizing. I'm just like, I just want to focus on this one thing here. And I'll just throw everything else to the side. And then, uh, you know what happens when you do that. Because then you get a mess over here. Fuck. I was doing great until that happened. this game. Hate it! Sorry. Love that one. Do I pick the next game? Uh, yeah, um, you know what, oh wait, fucking balloon fight, man. Balloon fight, balloon all fight, right. Balloon fight is great. Balloon fight is great game. I'm fine just hanging out watching you guys play because I've done all kinds of streaming. I do wish there was a way a third so player right. could hop in here. Yeah, we, they they need to they need to fix that. Do maybe, best two out of three and shit like that. Well, maybe next. Do you get? Did you? Do either of you ever play Magic Darts? i am probably yeah. talked to you about it before Trey. Uh, I don't think I played it. No. It was a game my family like was super into because it was like you could have up to like eight players at a time, and it was just like a super basic dart game. But there's like quirky characters, like there's like a chimpanzee and like. I think Marilyn Monroe was in it. She had a different name, but she looked like Marilyn Monroe. And uh, there was like a like his bodybuilder like guy, but like from the circus. And like they all had like special abilities and stuff when they would throw their darts. It was really fun. Hmm. I don't remember that game at all. And if you threw your dart and it hit a fly, you would like your your character would change to an alien. <laughs> that makes sense. Because there's like a fly that's buzzing around on the dartboard the whole time. So if you just happen to actually hit the, the, the uh, I mean, fly, there's, you there's... turn into a weird alien creature. Ah. Jeremy, what was the um, the game that you like? You said you rented all the time where you could enter in, into the, the giant mechs? Uh, Dino Wars? Dino Wars, yeah. So, a friend of mine, we were talking, he was... Like, oh, there's this game where you can, like, run around and enter into these mechs and stuff and play two different modes. So was it Dino Wars? And I said, yeah. It's the first time I've ever met anybody else who knew, about Dino Wars. Who knew what Dino Wars was. Yeah, I've owned, I've owned a few copies of that game, but yeah, I definitely own it for real this time. And if I'm ever going to make a custom video game t-shirt, that's going to be my first one. Dino Wars. I just think like I, I really like the art on it. It's so it's like that you know, it's cheesy, but it's just cool. Like he's shooting a laser and it's actually going through the dino's like face. <laughs> That's true, yeah. Like it passes through and goes to the other side. Why do, do you have to? And I like that sort of thing. Yeah, take my balloon away, down. Coming for you. I mean, you have one life left, so your time is numbered. That's true. And my score is way better than yours. 